I'd like to start off with a little bit of uh, the, you know, uh, educational aspect. Um, you can make it basically of any uh, amalgamation of sand or clay. I've heard as little as like 7% uh, clay, you know, and as much mm. as like 70. Uh, you really want to get it and we'll work with this uh, to a consistency where it'll hold together um, all of its own accord, you know. Um, and they call them cob because uh, it's the method from England where they would make these loaves, bread loaves, that they yes. called cob, you know, and so essentially you're making these little, mm. it's the same method as adobe, but you're making little loaves. Um, and then you just work them together with your thumbs into each other and it makes one monolithic piece. And they're, um, it's kind of like Legos in that when you put those thumbs in, thumbprints in, it smushes down into the ones below and then makes another place for the next ones to connect in. Um, so we'll go through all that process. And um, I, when I'm working with clay, it's, it's really like therapeutic. I invite you all to take off your shoes, you know, to, for the process of mixing. And I want to get everyone involved in learning to get the mix, you know. Um, and once we get a grip on, on making actual cobs and doing some building with some cob, uh, we'll uh, go on to playing with plaster a little bit as well. What we're going to focus on in terms of the build today is this this bench here a little bit. Um, and I, in all of this, am designing as I go. It's like really the relieving thing about this is you don't have to have like the plum and the square and the, you know, have everything like perfectly exact when you're, you know, setting the the three beams and things like that, there's things to know. Um, like, um, for instance, like these beams are set with a bunch of nails and things that are all punched into them and bent crooked and everything. And then when you mud up around it and it dries, it like it grabs onto that. And then on the roof beams, there's this thing called the dead man, which is just a, a piece of wood that has a wire, a strong wire around it that you cob in and then you put the beam in similarly with all the nails and stuff and then you wire it down and then mud it up and th all that is what keeps your roof on, <laughs> you know. Um, so there's things like that, but the actual building process is so simple. I've had kids as young as they have worked on it yeah. and I'd be glad to have your help today if you want to build my house with me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, uh, my thought here is to have these little, um, uh, cubbies here that we can store herbs or blankets or whatever in. And what I'd like to do is just cob up around the back here and get it to where we can set it and we'll set level on these and then we'll mud up everything up around to it and mud over it and try and get these and we can have three little workstations here for, and I invite everybody's creativity and just, you know, inner exploration and we'll just like, you know, build it as we go and make it up as we go. I'll wait for a little bit, I'm just gonna get this started. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. That's a lot like baking. And that, you know, you just are going to make like a little bird's nest with your different, like, ingredients, your different kinds of flowers and, you know, uh, thickeners and <laughs> what have you. And you are going about one to one. Always like, it's a meditation. So... I don't know, we don't have everybody here yet, but we're going to do this numerous times. So I'm just going to get this one started. Um, so you're not sifting out the rocks? Uh, I don't because actually that helps integrate. Uh, in uh, Irish cob, they call it plinth, and they sometimes it's as much as like 70% plinth. You know, mixing it's a bear, you know. Yeah. But. Um, I'll mix this one with the rock because I've got practice feet with it uh, and we can screen in the future. Yeah, having that stuff in there, the more 
it becomes more integrated. And I also, in the cob, like I would do a, a you know, a bit of wall section, and then I would come in with like rocks, like sticks or logs, and like stick it down into the mud, and then do another one over it. Yeah. And so that kind of, all this just sews it all together, you know, uh, vertically and horizontally. So. So uh, for these foundations, I did a uh, rubble foundation, which is the traditional style, um, which is just a two foot trench filled with rubble and a perforated pipe that's slightly slanted to, you know, um, drain. drain away. Yeah. Um, and uh, then a small stem wall uh, of river round that's, that was cobbled together with cob, cemented together and cobbled, and then uh, build the wall section up from that. So I've been doing about a 50-50 mix, uh, maybe a little bit more sand, uh, you know, uh, 60 to 70, 50 to 70 sand, and uh, 50 to 30 clay. And then, you know, um, I layer it, like I was uh, saying a minute ago, it's a lot like making bread, where you get your, you know, flour of your sand and your thickener of your clay, and you get, you know, everything in a little bird's nest here and then we're gonna just pour water here in the middle and let that soak in a second now this is soaked in a bit so I'll dance on it a little bit and this is uh, mixing and also at the same time detoxifying because mm -hmm. the clays draw toxins out of your feet mm -hmm. Um, and you could dance with a partner, you know, and like make fun with it, you know. <laughs> the drop cloth makes it so you can manipulate it on your own. And then, yeah, I kind of, it's the kind of thing that you just kind of get the feel for. Um, I could tell this might need just a little bit more, but I'll mix first and see what we get. This is starting to look good. It's, you know, it's, see how it holds together? Rolls More or less. And when I roll it, it's like, yeah, we call it a big log. <laughs> you know, kind of resembles stuff. <laughs> um, but there's a couple tests. Yeah, I can tell this is a little wet still. One is just a drop splatter. See, that's a little too splattery. It would hold. And sections, see this this is drier, so this one's not gonna splatter as much. There's also a little uh, squeeze and break test. Yeah, this is just a little bit wet. Just a little wet. So, I'll add just a bit more. You gotta be careful, you know how it is, like, Making bread, you know, too much flour. No more, now more water. <laughs> ah, you know, a little bit of this. And it's, it's just a fun meditation, fun way to, you know, be an adult and play in the dirt. And, you know, same time, you know, get something done. Yeah. So this is holding together. It's a little, little bit on the wet side and a little bit on the sandy side, but it's workable. And what you want to do is just make it into these loaves like this. At the bottom, you can just, you know, but then what I was talking about with the thumbprints is you gotta push it in with your thumbs and like this and that gets all the air holes out so it's all contiguous and it also makes it so there's another place for it to connect in. Let's see. profession is an excuse to continue to be a kid. <laughs> Sounds like a good thing to do. Right? <laughs>
what I'm getting at with this thumb thing is it presses it in to the next layer and fills in all the air gaps mm -hmm. and then it makes it for the next layer to be able to lock into. So um, the floor is going to come up a couple inches so we're going to need this bench to be probably somewhere up here ish you know mm. and right now we're just building for these cubbies you know to sit on. Mm. So that's that's the objective at the moment. And <laughs> And that's what's up. Finer. Mm -hmm. The finer you get it, the better for plaster. But this is kind of a base coat, so... And since we're kind of doing construction, I'm going to give it kind of the rough, rough and ready. And if you kind of go up, that I find that to be helpful. Like if you put some on and kind of smear it up, and we can go back.